proper approach is looking at the public perspective, looking into social media, um, and, and she did not do that. I felt that was the best approach to do this based on her her words. So yes, I did go into um, you know best understanding the public perspective of. Um, misheard and the alleged comparable actors using Q scores. Then I also went and did some analysis on online and on social media as well. Can you briefly remind the jury what Q scores are? Yeah, again, Q scores uh, measure uh, how well a celebrity, it could be a, a cartoon character, it could be a sports person, how well they're known, how well they're liked and how much they're disliked. And it's, it's an industry standard tool that's used. Uh, it's not just focused on the movies that they're in, but it's uh, uh, focused on them as actors, uh, but also uh, what's happening in their personal lives uh, come to play as well. Uh, so that's how Q scores are typically used. Did you prepare a demonstrative that reflects the Q score analysis you completed? Yes, I did. Okay. Your Honor, may I approach again? All right, thank you. No objection to the demonstrative. All right, we'll identify plaintiffs 1296 um, for identification and public to the jury. Mr. Banya, what, what point in time do these Q scores represent that are reflected on your demonstrative? So this, uh, these are the...